Hey, what's up everyone? You may or may not have seen this video. Bill Nye, the science guy. Uh, Bill, Bill Nye calls out science deniers and gets owned as it's titled. On, uh, I think it's Tucker Carlson. Tucker takes on Bill Nye, the science guy. So, without getting into all of the rhetoric that was back and forth between those two individuals, I just want to share my commentary on this. Um, I'm not a pusher of either sort of side of the spectrum of this or any either side. Um, I do believe that science should be showing us the exact figures on all of this, and I, I think that's what Tucker was trying to tell Bill Nye, and Bill Nye just kept going into the climate of things, stating that, uh, or the economics of it, stating, well, over in Europe, they would not be able to grow wine right now like they do. There's a booming industry because the climate has changed, and it's moving north. And that's what he's stating. But I think what people want to know is, if their theory is true, or their agenda they're pushing is true, that humans... What what it, what what it, blah, 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 sorry, what is going on is there is a debate between two sides right now. One side is saying that climate change, obviously global warming. I mean, I, that doesn't that really seems a little far fetched. The entire global warming thing because there's still so many snow events and things that happen. So that that's out of the question for me to discuss. But. I'm not stating either way, but, you know, climate change as a whole. The climate changes every day. Now, I think that's what the debate from Tucker was to Bill Nye. Now, Bill Nye is obviously an atheist anyway, so, I mean, he, uh, he brags about that too much, and he has called for several things against the president and believers in God or believers in Christ, called them idiots, so, I, I mean, I have no use for that. You don't just go out, you don't just call an entire group of people a name. And it should have been settled a little bit of a different, well, actually a total different direction. It should have gone a different way. Both sides of them should have, he should have presented evidence. Bill Nye should have had evidence ready to present his facts using the scientific method. If they do use the scientific method to prove, a, prove their hypothesis as fact, he should have shown the charts. He should have shown the graphs and he should have shown exact sciences. And Tucker, obviously, should have kept um, a professional manner when conducting this interview because it's, it's hard to get anything out of either of them with them arguing back, I mean, with him arguing and them arguing, arguing back and forth and the constant interruptions. But if you want to have a professional interview, in my opinion, then they should have sat down quietly, asked a question, one side give his point, the other side give his point. Now... Uh, that is what it should have been conducted as, but it obviously wasn't. But I think what Tucker is trying to ask is, where is the 100% conclusive evidence that humans are solely 100% responsible for the climate chaos and the climate change? On the side of some of the scientists, like Bill Nye, who's being basically, and I think what his point was stating, that you're a political person, you're a political, and he said, I'm not stating politics, Bill Nye saying, I'm not being political, what Tucker is stating it by political is, he is being used by the elites, he's being used by the politicals, politicals, but he's being used by the political people as an agenda, those in charge, the elites, Bill Nye is being used as a celebrity figure to push much of their agenda and the various controls on things and all of that. Now, that's what I think Tucker Carlson was trying to state when he said you're being political. He did have a few grammar issues here and there, obviously, but um, then Bill Nye was trying to state, well, the evidence is there. The evidence is there. And Tucker's basically saying, give us the evidence. Show us the evidence. And I can see that. I see that point of view. I mean, it's... Uh, what people want to see is the flat-out facts. And let me go ahead and state, I don't think that what we do is helpful to this world, how we harm the earth. And, I mean, look at fracking, putting the waste into this world, our, our waste injecting into the earth, 
fracking for fuel and fr and putting all of that oil down into this back into this the waste water and waste oil back down into this world and just look up fracking many of you are probably already aware of it but fracking for example that's very harmful to this world all of the chemicals all of the signals and the uh, the, the the waves of energy and pollution that we do put into this world obviously is not helpful I mean think about it I mean people out there that smoke a cigarette for example obviously you put that smoke into your body it harms the natural flow of things and your body on the inside becomes all sticky and gummy uh, with and you messes up your lungs and then you get cancer as a result of that now I can see that you do something like that it uh, you smoke up your body it has a harmful effect. This, the same thing, to a degree, can happen to this world. I mean, that's what Bill Nye should have presented. He should have presented a statement like, you know, you smoke a cigarette, you get cancer, and you pollute your lungs, you pollute the natural process of the body. A similar fact is, yes, we, as, as humans, mainly the elites, are putting out so much pollution that it does affect the planet, it does harm the atmosphere, and it does harm the people. The pesticides, you need them for the bugs, and I think Bill Nye's argument was supposed to be that the pesticides we put out, they do create pollution, but we would not have had to put the pesticides out as much had we not created climate chaos or something like that, so that the bugs would not have moved and migrated to other places and exponentially uh, these bugs procreated and exponentially populated basically and created chaos everywhere so I mean you know that's what Bill Nye was trying to state I guess now Tucker I get his point of view as well shouldn't interrupt as much as he did there obviously but I get his point of view that we, we, we need evidence, and we, we want evidence. Now, if they're going to look at climate change, if they're going to look at these uh, effects that they have, look up um, something that was just recently approved. They talk about us. They talk about people and factories and companies putting pollution in this world. I think homes and businesses, I think they, uh, don't get me wrong, the carbon emissions do put pollution in the atmosphere but not enough to do the dramatic changes we're seeing now um but in my opinion but i mean the uh i keep going off into something else but i'll tell you my conclusion here in a moment but i think homes and businesses account for one to two percent of the carbon emissions of pollution and but when you uh when you look at what they're stating and then you look at, they're saying that humans are solely responsible. Like he said, you, people like you who use your vehicles. Well, they created all that to begin with. And then they wanted to stop it all. Go to some other money-making thing um, for control. Let's control the people. Dale Gribble had a similar statement that they were doing emissions control to control people and then switch over to electric cars so they can have us all monitored. Now that is a large possibility. You create chaos, you can take control out of chaos. You can use control out of chaos. And fear-based chaos can you create control. And that's what Tucker should have stated as an argument, but fear-based chaos that they're pushing can create control. And uh, But let me state this. Did, did Bill Nye ever once state that they're approving a bill right now to reduce warming? They're, they're approving a bill right now to inject our atmosphere? Stratospheric, atmospheric aerosol injection that just got approved by the UN. 195 United Nations got together and approved a bill to inject our natural atmosphere with these pollutants, in my opinion, with these chemicals, gases, and aerosol. Aeros uh, these, this aerosol fuel injection into the atmosphere to create cooling effect and bounce the ultraviolet rays back out into space and away from the Earth. Do they realize what kind of effects that would have on this planet? That would create total climate chaos or climate change. That would That's changing the climate. Now what their claim is, and what Tucker Carlson is asking, Tucker is asking, he's asking, where is your evidence? Give us charts, 
graphs, present evidence, and his other question is basically, had humans not, if this is true, had humans not, according to your hypothesis, to Bill Nye, his question is, according to your evidence, had humans not manipulated or messed with the natural flow of the change of the climate, then where would we be at this point? And he was asking him basically, what would the earth be like now had we not had messed with it? And his statement was, well, we'd be living like, you know, it'd be like the 1700s. It would be unaffected. And he said, so it'd be like the 1700s. So he said, climate change has happened with or without human activity or cause, according to documentation, due to the Ice Age. And then Bill Nye messed up and said some odd million years ago, and he said, what about the Ice Age? He said, well, that was ten to 15,000 years ago. So, I mean, we had... There are documents shown from the Middle East stating it was hotter then, it was hotter a few thousand years ago, less than that, than it is now. In several places in this world, documents show that we went through a major heating without human activity causing it a few hundred years ago and a few thousand years ago. We went through heating. Um, you can look up the historical documents from the Middle East and Europe and see that those areas went through a heat wave, heat waves of climate chaos about 1500 years ago, I think it was stated that Europe and that some of the Middle East went through such heat that was unbearable for the people. Many people died and crops wouldn't grow. Then, I think about 1200, I don't know, I think it was about 12 to 1300 years ago, um, this was reported on Science and... Where else was it reported? Uh, it wasn't Politico. It was... Uh, Wired, I'm thinking. I'm thinking Wired.com reported this. That... I hope I'm getting the source right. You can look this up. That an ancient snowstorm... Well, not ancient, but... It was about twelve to thirteen hundred years ago. The climate got so cold in areas of Europe and Europe and Eurasia, the the Eurasian areas, as they call it, got so cold without human activity to affect the climate. You know, uh, supposedly, who knows what people were capable of long ago? That I mean, I feel like that history is repeating itself, and we're. A nat it's a, things are a natural process that humans are messing with uh, in certain ways, especially with their technological advancements, weather modification, geoengineering, and all of that, and they don't think that has an effect. And I think that people like Bill Nye are put out there to hide the fact of what they are actually doing, that the geoengineering, the bio, bio, uh, the, uh, bio manipulation, the uh all of this stratospheric injection and aerosol injection that they're talking about doing after 2030, and which they're already doing now. When they say they're going to, they've already done it. But um, as a whole, when you uh, all of the things that they are doing now, weather modification and geoengineering and all of that, there's no mention of that. And Bill Nye is one person who is uh, being used to distract from what they're doing to make it seem like a, uh, the, the population, the people, like you and me, that you and I are causing it. I'm saying that in the correct context, like you and I are causing it, but people like you and me are being blamed for the pollutants and the pollution. But yet, what they're doing has more harmful effects on this, this world than we ever thought about. But they don't even take that into consideration. But I agree with Tucker's point of view. I don't think they should have interrupted so much back and forth. People can't hardly get anything out of that. But anyway, uh, Tucker was stating, we want the facts, we want... And climate change has happened throughout history without human manipulation. That without humans being a factor um, in the change, it has happened. And he said, well, yeah, you know, it's happened. But we're accelerating the change. That's what Bill Nye's argument is. And then his argument, Tucker's argument, is, well, show us the facts. Show us the charts, the graphs, the documents, and 100% proof. 
show us the conducted scientific method. He said, you're all about the scientific method and con uh, conducting an experiment until your hypothesis, hypothesis is proven as fact. That's what the science community is supposed to be about. And he said, so if all of you have 100% agreed that climate change and global warming are both real, then sh without even going through the entire studies, then show us your studies, show us the evidence that was, uh, that was given back, and the evidence that you found to prove inconclusively that these are real. Show us that evidence. Show us the inconclusive evidence, and uh, which they never did. And uh, but, and then Tucker's argument, understandably, is that he's being used as a political figure, and he is for political motivation, political agenda, an agenda of the elites, anti-Trump agenda, and all of this stuff. It's ridiculous, but brainwashing, mind control, is happening everywhere. And what they were trying to state is, we want to see evidence. We want to see inconclusive evidence that the scientific method, that you conducted the scientific method on all sides, and both sides of the, of, both sides of the belief, pro or anti, uh, for or against, whether you believe in it or don't believe in, climate change being caused by humans and global warming in ex being in existence, show your evidence and prove it. And if you don't, show why it's not real. That's both of their points of view. And they just went on and on and on and on about it, just arguing, and it didn't really... <laughs> I mean, it didn't really solve anything. We're still not at an answer from uh, either side, any evidence from either side. So what we need to see is evidence of everything. And I do believe that obviously what we're doing to this world is not helpful. Fracking is not helpful. The pollution that we put out is not helpful. And I'm not putting out a climate change or a global warming agenda. I'm not stating global warming, and I'm also not stating climate change is caused by humans. I do believe that what we do can accelerate the process of climate change, but not to the extent that they are promoting and using for control. Uh, I, I mean, that's obvious. So, climate change has happened throughout history. You can look at the historical documents like I just stated from Eurasia, Europe, and the Middle East and see that thousands died. And a, a large population of Europe at the time died years ago. Uh, probably 1,300, if I'm not mistaken, several, uh, it, was, it was over 1,000 years ago that it was documented that a large population of people died because of a climate change, a, a dramatic climatic event that took place that caused a major amount of snow, ice, and just brutal cold temperatures that were deep down into the negatives and killed so many people. And then they dealt with uh, the rats and the mice later that spread the bubonic plague or the, the Red Death. And that inspired the story of the book, The Mask of the Red Death. That happened later, but... Um, but you had change and climate change that's happened throughout history is what Tucker's trying to state. It's happened throughout history. And these major events have happened throughout history. These major dramatic shifts and changes in the climate have happened throughout history. What gives the deduction, or what gives the conclusion, I should say, that it's 100% human-caused? And he's stating, well... It's not, but we've accelerated it. Well, and then he's saying, well, well, to what degree have we accelerated it? And he says, well, a large degree. And then he went 100%. No, I don't think 100%. Basically, my bottom line is I don't think that we have helped this world at all by doing what we've done. And the elites are ruining this world by what they're doing. And they're doing more damage than we could ever imagine or even ever, we could ever even, that, than we would ever even what we're doing could ever even cause. No, what, what's going on on a, on a large scale is not helpful at all. What they're doing is not helpful, but they gave us all of this stuff that they claim causes this change. But I'll just state that the things they are doing, weather modification, geoengineering, stratospheric injection that they're about to do, uh, putting chemicals into the atmosphere, 
the pollutants that they put in, they put into the atmosphere, and they gave us all of this technology and all of this stuff, the advancements of vehicles and pollution. They knew it was coming, but then they didn't even think about the consequences. I mean, come on. They just wanted to make money, and now they're doing another thing to push another agenda to make more money. And, um, but yeah, the climate would have changed and has been changing throughout history, as I showed evidence of, told you evidence of, before humans were a factor with our with our industrial advancements and technological advancements so the climate changes all the time but what everyone wants to know is if your claims are true then what percentage or degree are we supposedly causing this what degree or percentage are we supposedly causing it causing this change or global warming as they're promoting. That's Carlson's, that's Tucker's that Tucker's question. Bill Nye never gave a straight answer. He never gave a percentage, and then he stated 100%, and that's not, that's not right at all. But I don't believe what they are doing or what we're doing is helping this, this world at all. But I don't. I don't, we're, I don't believe we're solely responsible for it at all. I believe a natural process is taking place, has taken place throughout history. History repeats itself, and that they are doing several things for their agenda, and that they also don't help the fact at all. Look at what they're doing, like I just stated. All of the things and negative things they're doing. Fracking, stratospheric injection, putting aerosol in the atmosphere, burying the atmosphere to create the, the chemtrails that they're putting out there, the the uh, the pollutants that they put out there, weather modification and geoengineering, the bio warfare they don't consider any of that. Which bio warfare has to do with the body and biological structure and change. But the geoengineering is when you ge when you engineer the geological structures and geological process of of the earth. But I mean, look at what they're doing, and then they're blaming the people. I believe it's a natural process, and that's what I believe, and I believe that they are messing with things to a large degree. Look at HARP, uh, the, the highly active oral research program, pushing up the atmosphere, pulling down, putting all these all of these rays into the atmosphere, beams of uh, highly charged particles, and uh, look at all of these facilities we have worldwide for conducting experiments for research and then you have the birds and animals dying because of these energized particles these beams of energy or at least that's the theory it's a theory of mine I know I've went on I've gone on for a long time here but I just these are my opinions on this yes show us the evidence of your side of their side they need to show the evidence and inconclusive I mean inclusively they need to conclusively state 100% facts to back up their hypothesis and that would be correctly going about the scientific method but it's a fact that change has happened throughout history climate change has happened throughout the history of this world there's evidence of it long before humans had technological advancements and industrial advancements that to create the level of pollution we see today. My bottom line, though, it's happened before, but no, our pollution doesn't help, and what they're doing does not help, and it no doubt harms this world, but I don't believe that it would cause the level of escalation of the change in the climate that we see taking place in the world around us today, just us solely alone. I believe, I don't believe we're 100% responsible, as Bill Nye states, but I do believe the climate is changing. That's my bottom line. But we're not 100% responsible. Anyway, but regardless, it's not good to harm this world at all. It's not good to harm the earth. We need to take care of this world. Take care of the earth, and we've made poor decisions. Bottom line, whether... Whoever... of